Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Isle of Paradise Dark Self Tanning Water with Color Correcting Actives to Even Skin Tone. I'm so excited about this one. I know I say that every week, but I get I'm very excited about self tanner. I'm excited about this one because it is a little bit different from the mousses that we usually compare or review. This one is a tanning water. Yes, I'm giving the clear thing another try. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping it'll turn out well, not streaky. We'll get into that later though. That I got this in the shade dark, so of course, as usual, I want to be dark. But yeah, this one is going to be a really exciting kind of change from the mousses and the facial tanners that we've been doing. So if you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me, so please make sure to do that. But if you want to see me review and try out the Isle of Paradise self-tanning water, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right i'm a little nervous because like i said this is a water it's not a mousse so it's probably going to come on clear i'm not going to know what i'm doing may get a little bit messy may get a little bit streaky so let's just pray for the best but before i start applying as usual i just want to go over some of the details that are on the bottle for you guys so this right at the top says that it's vegan friendly cruelty free and organic which i love i love 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 that i don't want to be putting those harmful chemicals on my body every week it also says it has a color correcting actives to even skin tone which is really interesting to me it says it's 200 milliliters or 6.76 fluid ounces that's actually pretty big that's like one of the bigger self tanning bottles that i own it doesn't seem like it, I think because this is a water, but that is quite a bit of product, so that's nice. So on the back, it says self-tanning water with color correcting actives plus a violet base for a natural bronzed glow with no streaks, no smells or orange tones. Whether that's for the beach or brunch, we've got you, babe. Formulated with hyperviolet complex to reduce orange and swallowed swallow solo i don't know what that word is either way so sallow or solo tones and raise your tanning game that just from reading that it sounds really really good it says no smells no orange tones and no streaks i don't know how accurate that is so we will see at the end um again with the no smell thing nine times out of ten there is a smell 9.9 .9 times out of ten there is a smell so we will see about that that's all it is about like the cute little description on it i do think it sounds really good i am going to read the directions though because this is a water so it's a little bit different than applying a mousse to your body it says mist until skin is totally saturated covering face hands and feet last before blending with a tanning mitt using sweeping motions Thoroughly wash palms after use. Your tan will develop in four to six hours. So in the meantime, eat some ice cream, watch a movie, call a girlfriend. Just don't get the tan wet while it develops. Easy. It is easy if you're going to bed like me. Okay, so it says to saturate your skin with the mist first and then blend it with the mitt. So I'm probably not gonna do my entire body with the mist and then blend it in. I'll probably do like my arm and then blend with the mitt, other arm, blend with the mitt, just like one by one so it's not too messy and it doesn't dry before I get a chance to blend it out. So I'm going to start with my arms. Actually, no, I'm going to start with my neck and chest. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Again, just like last week, I applied a facial self tanner beforehand, so I'm not going to put this on my face.
so far so good um even though it came off clear since i like literally sprayed it onto my arms slash neck and chest and then sprayed the mitt and then rubbed it in i felt like i was able to pretty evenly apply everything so far i don't think i missed any spots i guess we'll see tomorrow when the final result is there but as of right now i feel like the application was really really easy the only thing i will say that i don't like is that when you spray it gets all over the floor so i'm literally stepping in like that spray right now and it's probably coloring the bottoms of my feet which that doesn't happen with any of the mousses that i use that's the only thing that i don't like as of right now but everything else so far so good literally has no smell so far not even like the slightest little hint of anything so that's really nice. So far lives up to the claim. We'll see throughout the night though, but let's move on to my legs. All right, I've applied to pretty much everywhere now. Again, it's really messy. Like I feel like my feet are just kind of slipping on the hardwood right now. If you have carpet, don't spray it directly onto your skin because it's probably gonna dye your carpet, especially if it's light. So do it in a bathroom or somewhere that you can clean up the floor when you're done because this is extremely messy. I really don't like that. I feel like the bottoms of my feet are probably gonna be like brown slash orange tomorrow I'm still gonna wipe it off right away but some color is probably still gonna be lingering there so it is very messy I do like the concept of the spray though like I said I feel like it made the whole thing really quick and really easy but other than that again so far literally zero smell so I really really like that right now zero smell easy application that's pretty much all I have to say right now. I'm gonna sleep on this, so it's probably gonna be on me for more than four to six hours. So I'm gonna sleep on it, I'm gonna shower it off in the morning, and then I will show you guys what the final result looks like. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Welcome back, guys. It is the second day, or <coughs> the day after I applied this self-tanner. And I definitely have some opinions to share with you. So right off the bat, I want to say I do really like how it turned out. You can definitely tell I got some good color here. I will say it's not the darkest. I really don't think it's that dark. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, huh, it looks kind of not so different from before I applied it. So this morning I was like, damn, this is not that great. But then throughout the day, well, I showered in the morning and then throughout the day, I feel like it might've developed a little bit more because now looking at me, I feel like I really like the color that came out. I feel like this is one of the more natural looking self tanners that I've tried personally, but that is not a bad thing whatsoever. I really like the color that this came out as. I feel like this is going to be a really, really nice color for the winter months. Even though they claim that it's dark, I feel like this, to me, in my opinion, is more of like a medium. I wouldn't call it dark, but I don't think it gave me no color either. And one thing that I'm extremely excited about, you guys, I did not notice a smell with this at all throughout the night. And then when I woke up this morning, I was actually in shock at the fact that I had no smell on me whatsoever. Like not even a little hint. I was like smelling, like I was trying to notice something and I didn't notice any kind of smell. So, that's a first for me. I have not noticed that with any of the other self tanners that I've used. I also am really happy with the fact that this actually left no streaks on me. It definitely lived up to that expectation. 
and I feel like it's because when I was applying I would spray it all over me and then I would spray the mitt and then I would rub it around so I kind of was able to get that even application that I was hoping for. The only thing I will say that I hate about this is how messy it is. I have not experienced a messier self tanner since I started applying self tanners to myself. This was just kind of a nightmare for the floor. If you like your house to be extremely clean at all times, maybe this is not the self tanner for you because when I say that the whole entire floor was wet, it was wet. Like my feet were kind of slipping on it. It was just not fun and my feet, like the bottom of my feet were really, really sticky. Actually, let me see. Yup. So I washed my feet as soon as I ended the video last night. This is gonna be kind of gross, but I want you guys to see what the bottom of my foot looks like. If I could even show you. Let me try to, oh, hold on one second. It's like, it looks like I've been walking around in the mud. Like that is not good. The mess it makes is just not fun. So if you're doing it on hardwood floor or just any floor, either wear some slippers or like lay out a towel or a few towels around you so that you're not getting it all over the floor and on the bottom of your feet. That is my best advice to you. And I definitely feel like it didn't make me orange. Like I feel like this is a really natural brown tan. I guess I can see where they said violet undertones. I think the color of the tan itself is really, really beautiful. So overall, I'm really extremely happy with this. The only thing I didn't like was how messy it was. That was extremely annoying, but everything else about this I loved. I'm probably going to be grabbing for this quite a bit in the winter. And this one is really not expensive compared to some of the other ones I've tried. It goes for 28 bucks and it's 200 milliliters. So you get a lot of product for really small price. So I feel like almost everything about this is really, really great. Definitely happy with this week's self tanner. I thought that because it's a water and because of the experiences I've had with the other clear self tanners that I wasn't really gonna like this as much as I was hoping to, but it actually really pleasantly surprised me. I really like how I look and how it turned out, so I'm really happy with this. I feel like if you were considering it, you should definitely go get it. But that is it for today's self tanning video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. Please comment and let me know what you thought about this one. Let me know how you think I look, if you like how tan I turned out. Make sure to let me know if you've tried this, your thoughts on it, or if you are actually interested in getting it now. I'm going to link this in the description. Make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up for me. Share with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel, you guys. As usual, it means the absolute world to me if you do. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.